Hi there, Excel enthusiast. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the amazing features and functionalities of Microsoft Excel. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss creating drop down list in Excel. Drop down lists are fantastic way to streamline data entry, maintain consistency and improve overall data accuracy. The method we will be using is data validation. Let's start learning it. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. So this is the worksheet that I am going to use for teaching you drop down list and data filter in Microsoft Excel. This is actually the list of the employees, their designation, their year of appointment, placement city and their last degree obtained. For, for the first option that is designation, I am creating this drop down list. So first of all, I have to go to the data and then click the data validation. When I click the data validation, this message appears and from the setting, I have to select the list and I, when I select the list, I have to give different options to this. For example, for designation, the first option is lecturer, second is assistant professor, then associate professor and the professors. And each option is separated with the help of comma and then I have to press this OK. A drop down icon appears with this cell. When I click this cell, I can select from different options. So this drop down menu is only created for this cell. If I want to apply this for the rest of the cells, I have to drop it down to the whole list of this employees and similar is done for the year of appointment like again we go to the data validation and in the data validation we go to the setting select the list and we give it different years of appointment and then we press this ok so this is the way we can give different options for each variables and create the drop down list for example, I am filling the data for the first employee. The designation is assistant professor. The year of appointment is 2013. The placement of the city is Multan. And the last degree obtained is the PhD. Similarly, we can fill the information for the rest of the faculty members. This drop down list is mostly used with the data filters. What is data filter and how we can apply it? Let's look into it. So for designation, I am going to apply the filter. I have to go to the data tab and then click this filter. So when I click this filter, I can see that an arrow starts appearing over it. So if I want to only see the list of a specific type of employees, so I can select from it. For example, I want only see the assistant professors list so I will unclick the rest of the options and only click the assistant professor and then click this OK. So now you can see that the information about only assistant professors is appearing over here and similar can be done for the other options as well. And there you have it. You have now learned easiest method for creating drop down list in Microsoft Excel that is data validation method. Drop down list can significantly enhance your data entry and organization skills. Now it's time for you to take this knowledge and apply to your own Excel projects. Whether you are managing inventory, creating forms and analyzing data, drop down list can make your work more efficient and accurate. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tutorials and tips. Also feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks for joining us today and remember Excel is a powerful tool with endless possibilities. Keep exploring, keep learning and excel in your life. Happy journey.